What is up guys, it's CH here with your fifth video on how to build a CMS with PHP and in our last video we populated a database in our PHP My Admin. We created this table with these uh, four fields right here, ID, menu, position, visible. And uh, we're going to do, I'm doing this video just to show you how to insert information into these tables just through your PHP My Admin. I think this should be the last video that we're going to have to deal with SQL and phpMyAdmin before we can actually pr start programming in PHP but uh, I want to populate our um, our database with a little bit of information so when we pull this back into our, HR, into our HTML it's ready to use we don't have to do any hard coding so what we do to add information is we hit the insert which is an SQL command so Here's our four fields. We want to add values to them. And for our ID field, I don't want to add anything because we already set it to auto increment. And if I put something in here, this will override the auto increment. And that is not what we want. So I'm going to leave this blank. For this value, uh, remember in the last video, we set our maximum character length to 30. So I can write a string of text in here, no more than 30 characters. So something I'm going to write for this menu will be this is village park and for the position this is one and do I want this to be visible yes I do yes is one no is zero one is true zero is false so I do want this to show up so there we go see it ran the SQL up here see if we did not have PHP my admin this is what we would have to do in our terminal and this is a lot more difficult to do than just click on these tables of information so now we're gonna go back to our table right here and look, here it showed up with our primary ID of 1, this is Village Park, Position 1, Visible 1. Now I want to go ahead and add a couple more to our menu. So I'm going to add another one. Again, we're going to leave this blank. I've always left this blank. I don't think I've ever filled in a value because my primary key has always been the field of ID set with auto increment. So just food for thought. Our menu, what do I want to put here? I'll put in videos. And this is the second position. And do I want this to be visible? Absolutely. And back to our table. And uh, so here it goes. So we have our ID right here set to auto increment. So now this is just showing up one and two. And it's starting to kind of look like that Microsoft Excel spreadsheet that I was talking about in the first part of these videos. That's all that's all SQL really is, except it's on a server and uh, the server's on and it's it's uh, connected to a database. So what I want to do is I want to add one more row of information. So I'm going to go back up here to insert. Again, we're going to leave that blank. And this I'm going to title services. And this is our third. And I want this to be visible as well. Okay, we got the check that it, would, that it went through. If you do decide to type in your own SQL and you have a you don't leave a semicolon or you don't have a, a word capitalized this would show up as an X it would make you go back and wouldn't execute the query so we didn't even do that because we punched it in through our PHP my admin so here we go here's a table of information right here this is what I wanted to create and um, yeah I think this should be our last video so uh, I'll see you guys in the next video and I think we're gonna start coding in PHP so Follow me on YouTube, subscribe to my videos, and I'll see you guys there. All right.